what's up I don't even want to explain why uh, I'm not looking at the camera because you can obviously tell that I'm driving um I would put it on the mount on my window but it bounces a lot and it just kind of makes it really shaky so I'm gonna avoid that oh my god my face I got shot I got injured ignore that but my glasses they fell shit <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to come out and say that meditation, I might have already said this before, but meditation is literally equivalent, meditation for your brain is, and mind, is equivalent, equal to exercise for your body. Now, when you exercise... You physically move your body. You, you put your body under stress and give it some time. Let it heal after you rest. Stress then rest equals more bench press. No. <laughs> you, more strength. You, you're able to move easier. You have more muscle fibers. You have bigger muscle fibers. You're able to do things with way way greater ease oh man there's some dude pulled over on the wrong side of the road over here I don't know what he's doing maybe he there's a dude walking on the side of the road I can only assume that that's the dude ditched his car I don't know anyways you gain more strength from exercise right yes correct you can move easier you know, as long as you stretch, you're more flexible, you're more limber. Moving every single day, doing daily tasks is a lot easier because you've trained, you've put your body under that stress and your body's adapted. It's you, You've given it a chance to grow because you've put it under stress. Stress causes growth. Just remember that. What the fuck? So, stress equals growth. Now, it's really easy to exercise. It's a lot harder to meditate because it's like almost nobody has meditated really in a in a really serious sense. We've pretty much, you know, it's something so easy to overlook. Whoa, my hair. <laughs> Because it's like you, I mean, dude, schools don't teach this. Schools don't teach meditation. Meditation is exercise for your mind because you are pushing it, trying to pull your attention to the present moment. My hair's crazy. And that is the equivalent stress you would experience if you were pushing yourself during exercise that pulling your attention to the present moment or whatever you're trying to focus on. If you're doing like a guided meditation, they might have you focus on the feeling between you know where you're sitting and your body. They might have you focus on you know the sounds that you might hear. You might hear your refrigerator, something like that. And so it's like, wherever you're focusing on, if you let your attention run amok and do whatever it wants you're it's like it's almost like having a monkey on a leash that you're not really it's kind of just taking you by the lead or or a dog a, do, a monkey a dog on a leash that you're just kind of let, letting the dog walk you you're just kind of like whatever I'll go wherever this dog goes and it's like it goes all over the place and you might get frustrated because it goes all over the, all over the place and that's Literally, that literally equals your mind going all over the place, and then you're getting frustrated because you're going all your mind's going all over the place, and you can't keep a you know one thought or idea in your head for you know too long of a period before you forget it or you think of something else. And so it's like meditation. When you sit down, you really gotta just as much as you take the time out of your day to physically exercise your body. 
you need to have a balance. You need to meditate. You need to take that time out of the day, out of your day. And it really isn't even as much. Some people will work out like 30, 40 minutes, an hour. And, you know, if you ask somebody to meditate, it's so bright, I literally can barely see. If you ask somebody to meditate for 10 minutes, either like one time per one time in the day before like when when they right after they wake up or oh my god there's bikers everywhere in this dust oh jesus i look really pale in the sunlight but if you ask somebody to meditate for 10 minutes they won't they'll look at you and they won't even think twice about slapping your slapping you across the face like they don't care they are not about to meditate because they're like, oh, that's for monks, dude. I'm not a monk, bro. I'm not a Buddhist monk, man. Like, people have the wrong idea about meditation. It is for everybody, anybody. Conscious breathing is part of a healthy mindset and well being. Like, period. It is the mental exercise that you give yourself to be able to focus on what really means the most to you if you I look like a ghost now in the different lighting <laughs> turning from a zombie to a ghost in two seconds flat but if you man where was it going with this it's like six minutes in the video I'm driving just having fun you know what was I saying Anyways, just remember that. Give it a shot. You gotta really want to meditate because if you are sitting there and you don't want to meditate, you have to meditate for the reason of meditating. You have to sit there and focusing on your breath has to be your objective. Your conscious objective cannot be, I'm meditating to improve my mind, to get better focus. Like this will, Meditation will improve all aspects of your mind. Every single thing that you do, every think, thought that you think will be more clear and concise. Like how I'm able to talk a little bit more clearly right now. Because I meditate. But just as easy, easily as you can meditate and gain that clarity you can just as easily stop meditating and go back into your, you know, old hazy ways of thinking. So don't let that be you. You got to keep consistent with it. But let's say you go, I think I already talked about this before, but let's say you go a month meditating, 20 minutes when you wake up, 20 minutes when you go to bed, before you go to bed. And then you go... And you know you have a, the clarity of a god. You are just living. You are you can you can sense, you know, sounds coming through trees or something like that. You know, like, and then you don't meditate. Like, and then imagine you don't meditate for you don't meditate for a month. That was a nice car. Goddamn. And see, I still gotta meditate more. I'm getting distracted. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Huh. I'll wrap this up. But you don't meditate for a month. You lose some of that clarity, that focus that you had. But now, if you... Let's say you just meditated for a week. You would probably be back at that level you were at after the first month. Because it's like you worked out those that mental muscle enough... So it remembered where it was at. It said, okay, you know, but it, you have that strength inside of you as long as you work it out and get to that point. But your mind just gets lazy because it's easy to take the subconsciously learned patterns and things that you do subconsciously. Your brain takes the easy route because it uses less energy. You to consciously focus and do things takes a lot more energy than you think. So, but regardless, I'm going to wrap this up. Remember, meditate, 
like especially if you work out oh my god it will help you so much two in one triple bam baby like trust me on this do your research I love y'all I'll see you in the next one peace out